uh so yeah so i just listened to like the last five minutes just right before we started and and the last where we were at was uh so, so basically you, you went you you had woke up on a new day and gone to see uh nanny cowslip slash um Sirole. and uh after uh having a having a night where you where you tried to uh intervene with her and erdlin uh, but were unsuccessful in uh, doing so as you got uh, distracted by a goblin that was getting uh, constricted by a snake. Yes, we did. And uh, yeah, and so yeah, you you, you kind of arrived late at the Erdlin Sorolli encounter, and and she was turned to to stone, and the and the day was reset. But you also did find that that he had uh, Erdlin had recruited uh, seemingly Elsie into his uh, quote-unquote gang, as, as he uh, calls it. Uh, yeah, I mean, and then before that, you had another day, a full day of going through the pudding fair and trying to make make differences and seeing how things things seem to be uh, devolving even more. I think you you, you spoke to the uh, doppelganger and, and just, just all the various things uh, that you did. But uh, in your last conversation with... Uh, Nanny Cowslip, you discussed, you know, coming out, trying to figure out a, a way to uh, intervene so that uh, and uh, distract Erdlin so that he so that she could get enough time to get her uh, banishment uh, ritual off. Uh, and uh, so it's still very, very early uh, in the morning and you have a, a full day ahead of you, which could potentially be your last in this loop. So. Uh, you might want to make it count as uh, anything that could happen would then become uh, permanent. And then hopefully at the end of the day, you can uh, stop Erdlin from repeating the day for everyone. Are we recording now? Yeah, we have been. I mean, I just, I just start it and then I choose a good starting point later. Anyway, uh, too bad I ain't chaotic evil. We can just burn all this pudding fair. <laughs> just call it, you know, just like, oh, it's all done. And, uh, oh, yeah, and another, and another thing that, that happened was Nanny Cowslip attempted to uh, heal Abby's mind, uh, and it seemed to have been showing some positive uh, effects already. Well, yeah. Now, what do you call positive effects? Well, he hasn't tried to stab anyone recently, so that's good. And he oh. actually is like, you know, speaking in sentences now. And he fell asleep. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so uh, did we start through the fair? I can't remember. Are we already like in the fairground? Yeah, because you've already, you we left off with you speaking to Nanny Cowslip, and, and also she gave um, beans to all of us? Okay. Yeah, she gave each of you a uh, magic bean that you, that you had not uh, eaten yet. Oh, that's right. That was the end of it, and we're going to use it this round. I remember that now. Oh yeah, I think I made maybe you took some notes. Yeah, yeah so we get them now. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah that we're going to roll. So hound out that day. beautiful bean footage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Five was the number. <laughs> Did Aubrey already eat, eat a bean? I think so, yeah. I, I think that's why I think he has... it was a suppository for him. I, th <laughs> I think that's why he has uh, advantages on... Advantage on saves, yeah. Advantage on really like saves. So does everybody else. <laughs> I think Aubrey figured out it wasn't a suppository and then ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
All right, so we know what the curse is. We know exactly what the language was. Um, Elsie turned out to be kind of a jerk in that she was a, a doppelganger. Right? We think she was she was a doppelganger. Yeah. I thought wasn't she hiding out in this? Yeah. Out in this crowd. But she's well, a nice doppelganger. Well no, was Elsie a doppelganger? I thought the psychics were doppelgangers. They were, but I wrote down Elsie, halfling girl, but not really. <laughs> well, that was the fortune teller, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the psychic the one that was doppelganger. Okay. Yeah. So was Elsie really a halfling? And as far as you know, I think. Not very nice. Okay. Yeah, but I think we still want to try to talk to her because she keeps thinking this will last forever, and if it doesn't, uh, maybe we need to try to convince her not to help uh, Erglin out if we can, or if we can't, then we just deal with it. Yeah. Well... I tried to convince her last time, but she said I was boring. Maybe you can try. Um, so we're we're over at Nanny's uh, candy. You 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 had you had left. She she had started opening her booth and selling candies. Or handing out candies. I think we always met Elsie up at the archery range. Mm -hmm. uh, head up there and see if uh, we either convince her to to help or get her out of the way because we know that she'll be a problem. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. No, I'm down with that, says Cassia. Plus, I want to outshoot her. <laughs> I do want to get our pictures drawn today, though. I've really been wanting to do that. You should so have Casey draw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot we're on stream. My bad. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's head over there. So you head over. So you want to head over to the uh, archery? Yeah. Contest. Uh, yeah. So you head to the archery contest um, probably earlier than uh, you ever have before, as the uh, current high score on the board is uh, quite quite low, lower than you've seen. Um, only a, a couple people have uh, made it, made attempts. Uh, well, their archery contest last time. <laughs> me, me says Cassia. And there's a uh, and there's no uh, there's there's no and LC to be at... to be found. Hmm. Well, should I know? Maybe you guys should enter now. Maybe by the time you're done, she'll show up. We can always come back later. What do you think? That's true. Gronk is wiener, says Cassia. <laughs> Gronk, what about the puppet show? Puppet show. Go to the puppet show and then come back. Okay, Gronk, go watch puppet. While Gronk turns around. I'm going to go with him. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> uh, Cassia very quickly fires off uh, five shots and is only able to score one hit on a three-point target. She's still in the fill in the effects from the last beam. <laughs> She's coming down off that high. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, Melrick has the uh, speed doubled. Uh, uh oh effect yeah, but uh, I'm a, uh, today so now i'm like normal <laughs> yeah all right 
So I got three points. Yay. Oh, he turned around. Yeah, I guess he saw me. Dang it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to play. Gaunt winner. Uh, yeah, Gonk is able to score six points, and and like I said, given that the the high score was, was so low, he does set the uh, high mark Gonk, no, for no, the no, day. No. But the but those uh, six points are unlikely to hold up throughout the whole day. Gonk, not dummy. Gonk used precision last time. Gonk, not do it this time. Oh, well then. Then Gonk is dummy, says Captain. <laughs> I'm glad you said it, cause you know. Hey, Gonk, let's let's go watch the puppet show. Let's go. I uh, link my arm with Gonk and head over to the puppet show. Well, the good thing about going arm in arm with Gonk, you, Gonk, you can still stay about you know five foot away and still hold his arm. <laughs> and I'm probably very, about yeah three feet off the ground. Yeah, they're very, and, very long. Which arm is third one? No. Just his regular ones. So anyway, wasn't it Elsa like she offered me some booze last time? Yeah, I think from a flask, yeah. Can I go and like uh slide a hand and grab that from this time? Well, you you don't know where she is. Okay, well, whenever I see her, I'm still going to do that. Well, where would you think she'd be? Well, we've caught her at the archery range this time. Says Cassia. Maybe. Okay. Mm. Well, because usually we're here an hour later because we go to the puppet show or the um pottery for yeah but still she's like one of the characters that's reliving this day over and over again and she's knows what we're doing and she might move to somewhere else do you think she's avoiding us she could be last time we talked to her she didn't seem like she wanted to talk to us i i yell that over my shoulder well we should go find her Maybe you guys should go to the psychic. We're going to go to the puppet show. How about you grab that pig and strap a sign to it and let it run all over the fair? Have you seen Elsa? <laughs> well, oh, we could have the, the caricaturist draw a picture of her. I'm attached to the pig. Could, yeah. That, that does sound like a fun idea. Or I mean, we could just post pictures of her around the fair. That would work too. But I like your idea too. Or we can grease up Albie and send him throughout the fair with the same sign. I don't know if he'll agree to it now, though. Yeah. What? What, what is Albie doing? Uh, following everyone else. He has no uh, agenda of his own. He does not. All right. So you guys uh, go to the um, <clears throat> puppet show, and uh, it is. The same familiar story that you told that was told b b before of the two children who uh, wandered off in into the woods and uh, came lost. Boo! My story was better. I'm happy. No one knows what you're talking about when you say my story. <laughs> okay. They just Gronk think knows. you're. They just think you're Gronk some. Knows. They just think you're some jerk. Uh, Drunk, drunk druid. I mean, I probably am, but but Gonk knows, so it's okay. Gonk also knows about delicious cheesecake too. Mm-hmm. And eels. 
He is so not there. Dog's not hungry. <laughs> Dog had cheesecake and candy. Huh. All right, I'll be quiet for the rest of the show then. Towards the uh, end of the show, someone comes uh, running down the uh, path here towards you past the uh, livestock pen towards the uh, puppet show. And they're yelling, help, help, she's gone missing. She's gone missing. Help, we, we don't know. Some, someone's taken her. What? What are you talking about? Cassie automatically looks through the sky and looks for like a bird carrying off a Good point. Uh, do I recognize this person? Are they familiar? Uh, no, I don't. I don't uh, believe they are. Well, stop! Stop running! Calm down! What are you talking about? Oh, oh, good. You, you look. Uh, the big and strong group. Uh, the, Ar Ar Arabella, she's she's gone missing. Someone someone's abducted her from from her from her hut. Which hut? We've been in every hut like the last ten days. Tell us what hut this is, says Cassia. And who's this Arabella? Is uh, she that herbalist? Or alchemist? The, the the herbalist, yes. Herbalist. Ah, yeah. Uh, that's why Cassie doesn't know her. Whenever <laughs> she went, she was gone. So, what do you mean she's missing? When did you last see her? Now that you said herbalist, Cassie remembers. Oh, there was somebody that took her last time. The, she the bandit. Was, yeah, she was going to go heal the bandit. That was hurt two or three times ago, whatever Groundhog Day that was. But, uh, yeah, I kind of remember her. Maybe she's over there, says Cassia. When did you last see her? Uh, a few days ago, but she, she didn't arrive. Hmm. Days ago, it's been the same day over and over again. I don't think she knows that. Yeah. I know that. Someone says they spotted her wagon abandoned. Just Where outside of town. East, west, north, south, says Cassia. Can you take us to the wagon? Maybe we can find some clues. I was told it was just down the road off to the east, to the east of town. Um, I look at Gonk. Uh, Gonk, which way is east? Uh, east is opposite of west. Well, yeah, but... But then which way is west? Cassia pulls out our navigating tools, <laughs> which has a compass. Thank you. It is that way! <laughs> I'll say follow sun. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll follow you guys. You know where to go. I think we should check out the wagon. I'm kind of, oh, excuse me, Bert. Uh, I'm kind of curious, says Cassia, since she, a day that we reincarnated a day before then, and then after that, like, she went to go help that one uh, bandit that was hurt, and why is it different this day? Why uh, is this guy coming up to us? And this never happened before, says Cassia. Well, remember, the bandits aren't, you know, they know about the day, so maybe they took her early. That's a good point. 
they were pretty tough though. But maybe we should be sneakier this time. Well, this time, if they're staying outside the field of this uh, uh, time lapse, if they're outside of it a bit, then they're probably prepared for this this time. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe, but... If they were able to take initiative and take her earlier, then they're waiting for us as cast. They're expecting us to go mm -hmm. save her. Yeah, but we didn't try to save her last time. True. But we tried to save the the Nick, wounded right? one. Yeah, we tried to save the wounded guy, and they'll probably use that against us since we're so uh, nobly. Yeah, that's true. Inclined to do good deeds, I guess is the best way to say. It. We have to. What right? that. Sorry, go ahead. No, I'm sure we can do evil deeds like burn this whole forest down and or the whole pudding shack down and we can end this right away. Then what's his name would never get any pudding. Hmm. Abby, were you saying something? My bad. I don't think Abby was here when you guys fought the bandits. They were scary. So, uh, yeah, Abby doesn't know what these bandits are. Cassius sits Avi down. Make sure that his big freaking axe or warhammer is not anywhere near. I mean, it's, it's a hand <laughs> axe. <laughs> but you did kind of, you know, attack a couple people. But that was old Avi, yeah. so. I'm standing way away from him. Be like, hey, we found these bandits out in the middle field way a long time ago, and then uh, we fought them. There was one guy that was injured, so we killed them all, and the one guy injured, we tried to help him, and then the day started over. So that was the... So it's Cassie huh. really fast. We, we could burn this whole place to the ground, but uh, that doesn't really sound like us. No, I'm saying Maybe. that if that was evil, us. Yeah. So we I'm... kill bandits or we burn fair. Um, those are two options. They might not be the only options. But... So at this point, I choose you know... bandits. <laughs> ah, Bobby, this way, you're getting, getting better. <laughs> this way. Does Bobby know which way is west? You guys were talking about it. It wasn't clear which way. I was talking to Abby. Different directions. This way? This way? <laughs> this way? Uh, Cassia pulls out her compass and shows it to Abby and points this way. But it's actually the opposite way just to get a kick out of him. Uh, Abby goes the way that uh, he was pointed to. Oh, uh, Abby, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, I think it's the other way. This way? Yeah, that way. Clink, 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 no, clink, no, clink. No, 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 no. Cassie yeah. Alexa Brandon. Ah, oh, come on. We could have had him walk away. Couldn't have looked. It would have been funny. No, oh, no. Does Gonk go after him? <laughs> Gonk confused because he points west and that's he says that way. But he points east and says this way. I don't know. I'm not good with direction. Well, at this point, is the the uh, puppet fair or puppet show over? Uh, not not quite. No. Oh, then we're being really rude. Yeah, and you're interrupting Gonk. He's not paying attention to nothing. It's a puppet show. Still. <laughs> Sorry. Does this person keep moving? Do they they run away in a panic, or did they are they still with us? No, they're still with you. They they think they've found their people to um, solve this problem. I think we can solve this problem. We've solved worse problems, I think. Well, we Bob is going to wander off and probably end up in the yard sale. 
<laughs> in the last five minutes, we've just been chatting with each other. We're like, oh, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll help you. Like, oh, oh, oh yeah, sorry. Okay, let, we'll confirm. <laughs> this is like um, an episode of Science Hill. <laughs> uh, Abby, I, I think you're going the wrong way. Um, but I will he, go after Abby and go look at the yards. He says in the in the dwarvish equivalent of "for fuck's sake," and starts walking <laughs> back this way. Belric says, "Hey, watch your language." I so think that's for, around. that's for rock's sake. Oh yeah, I don't speak dwarvish, so I have no idea what he said. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, I think we can do it. Should we try to do that and then see if we can find Elsie again? Yeah. Maybe she's involved with this. She likes trouble. Yeah, that's a good point. But she, uh... She's living the day over and over again. She might be. But she knows about it. it plotted it against us again. She said she didn't want to have this stuff end, right? She enjoyed like stealing and running amok and... Yeah, but she she got to watch uh, Nandy get turned to stone. Um, Maybe she likes to get her rocks off on this. Huh. Even as a dwarf, I did not find that funny. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head whichever direction I think this wagon is in. I'm gonna head that way. Cassie is just, should we go after the Celsi character or go? We don't know where she is. So, I mean, this is the only lead we have at the moment. So. We could check this out first. Well, we have tons of leads been over and over and over again every day. Yeah, but not for today. True. I mean, she's usually at the archery after we're done with the puppet show. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we're leaving the puppet show early. Go check out the wagon. We can go back to the archery contest. And what about uh, the fortune teller? We can also meet her there too, right? Mm -hmm. True. Yep. And well, I think the archery is right next. Well, we could do if we if the cart is by where the bandits were, we could go up. Well, I don't have the map in front of me, but I thought the archery was like due north. We could go there, then go over to where the the bandits were in the forest. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. With my limited understanding of directions, that sounds like a great idea. It, could, um, do we still have the, the map of the, the fair? Yeah. Yeah, so the archery range is nine... And then nine, I think... yeah, nine, <laughs> nine. <laughs> but so if it's west, we just go west into the forest, and then we come back. It'll be easy. Rena is very bad with directions. Uh huh. I mean, e I I don't know. Somebody else should lead the way. I, I don't. I can lead the way, says Cassio, but I just don't know which way to lead. Well, we're Cassie, uh, the people that ran to us. Okay. Can you point us to the direction that the cart? Down the road that way. East. East. Okay, that way. My other, my other east. Okay, got it. 
some reason that pointer to the... So Abby was going the right way. Yeah, assuming up the top of the map is... Yeah. Is that my pointer or yours, Casey? That would be mine. Okay, because I have a red die. I was like, why can't I delete it? So let's run up to the archery to see if Elsie's there. If she's not, we just go east to the to the Okay. That sounds like a plan. Come on, Gonk, let's go. Okay. Where we go, this way or that way? That way. Okay. <laughs> All right, Cassie would like to take some time and do some investigation. Actually, no, that won't really do good. Look for footprints since there's so much travelers in and out of this place. But maybe around the wagon there will be. So yeah, if you if you swing by the archery contest again on your on your on your way out, you see no sign of Elsie. Okay. All right, let's go to the cart. Okay. Yeah, so if you head out of town uh, to the east, you do finally come upon uh, an abandoned wagon. Uh, off to the uh, side uh, of the uh, road filled with uh, herbalism supplies uh -oh. su suggesting that this is uh, Arabella's wagon. Are is there, there any there signs of life around? Yeah. signs of uh no there isn't there isn't there are no people uh around are there tracks or horses? Yeah, yeah. as you uh yeah we'll definitely investigate yeah as, as you as you take a look around there are a, a clear trail of uh human size uh boot prints leading out uh, into the woods in the direction of the of the camp that you uh, encountered uh, before. Abby will grab, grab some things from the cart and put in his pockets. <laughs> He's got like the Maybe cart small, wagon small wheel. tools or... <laughs> A whole wagon wheel he's trying to or... put in his pocket. No, that's old Abby. Yeah, so basically, you know, there's there's like a lot of herbalist herbalist type stuff there, uh, like clippers and mortar and pestle and pouches and vials and various uh, herbs and spices and things like that. Smokable herbs. Yeah, so Abby will take some of those things. Just a, like a random. Cassie tool will take some of those smokable and... herbs. I will not, but I'll I'll look in the cart though. I'll like check out what's in there. Well, yeah, I mean all those things I uh, d described. Like I'll supervise, but I won't. I won't take any. I think this one was dandelion, says Cassia. Uh oh. Uh, okay, so you said that there were, there were some tracks. Are they leading away from the cart? Correct. Yeah, out, out into the woods, to in the, in the direction the, of the, of the camp the that you encountered previously, yeah. Well, I think we should check it out, but we should be careful, right? <laughs> no, we're telling them, uh, remember, I'm... I'm not the stealthiest, so first sign of trouble, I say we just run. Okay. Cassie I'll be knocked on his helmet. Be stealthy. 
She can move 30 foot in any direction and detect traps. Do you want to sneak up there? Sure. I'll move up 30 foot. Test. Oh, wait, no, I don't have that bean any Crap, so it's only 15. I forgot my speed wore off. But still, if you can be sneaky. Yeah, 15 foot of movement forward, detecting traps, trying to be as stealthy as I can. Unless I run into some rough terrain. What did you see? What were you going to say about Abby and his helmet? Yeah. So when someone, when he says to be careful, um, Abby knocks on his helmet, says, "Careful, safe." Mm. I don't trust anything that Abby says. Abby's being very nice today. I think we should trust him. Last time somebody said fight and he just started whirling his sword. sword. So don't Is that not fight. how you fight? <laughs> I bet we'll have plenty of opportunity for fighting. All right. So if you're uh, going ahead, detecting uh... traps at 15 foot movement. Yeah. So you can uh, make a. Uh... Can I stay, check. like, 15 feet behind her? Hmm? Just, like, what, hide from the and watch from the bushes? of my investigation looking for footprints stuff like that wagon wheels wagon tracks i guess is the best way to say it yeah so you uh i mean you're looking out uh because you know there are traps here from uh, uh before and and as you're looking you notice uh, a section where the leaves are 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 heaped on the on the ground uh in a pretty seemingly un, unnatural uh fashion you would say that probably that's where they're hiding the the uh the sling trap that uh picked up I, I forget who it was before that got lifted up in the air by it I'm gonna call gronk over here hey throw a rock here I find the biggest rock I can find in the world. <laughs> Oh no. I stay in the bushes. I uh, Cassie moves back whenever he throws the rock. He uh chucks the uh biggest rock he can find and it fl it flies into the uh unnatural pile of leaves and uh doing that uh sets the uh sling trap off as the as it as it engages and and the uh and, and, and the rope pulls taut and, and yanks up with uh, no one in the side of it. This, uh, all of this makes uh, quite a bit of sound, the, the rock crashing on the ground and the trap springing, such that uh, you hear someone calls out, Hey! Who goes there? Cassia calls out, uh, Backs together. Uh, I kind of look back at everyone who's not up here yet, like, what do we do? We fight, says Cassia. As he, uh, not there. someone, uh, someone comes out and says, uh, not you, all, not you lot again. We'll, we'll get you this time. And they, they pull out their, uh, weapons uh, and, uh, look for a fight. You don't have to look far. I've got one over here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, release Obby on him. He's like that little character like on Ace Ventura. Like that little like ninja monkey fool. <laughs> Just <laughs> let him loose. I'll just let him kick everybody's ass and then we'll go in. He is tough. Yeah, 
Avi's got this. We can all just sit back. <laughs> Alright, so Avi moves first. So I have advantage on saving throws from the jelly bean. Correct. I should still have disadvantage from my armor. Ah, uh, right. Uh, yep. Yeah, so that advantage on strength and dex. Yeah, that that, that should factor in because we don't have you linked listed as proficient in your armor. Okay, just want to make sure because I didn't see it show up. So how What's far the... away are we from these from these folks? Uh, you are like. Um... Within 40. Skittles tossing distance. Yeah, you're like you're like forty feet out. Okay. Taste that rainbow. One thing I wasn't able to add like a plus one shield or anything, but I don't know if it really matters. Oh, is that what you wanted to claim? Yeah, I was gonna do plus one shield and then do the um Divine Forge on my war. Okay. There you go. I just added a uh, plus one shield. Ah, thank you. Then, um, yeah, if you want to make your Warhammer plus one, I think that makes it magic also, so we'll do that. There you go. Yep. Cool. Thank you. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah they're 40 feet out. Abby's going to throw a dart at one of them. Okay. Abby attempts to uh, chuck a dart. His ill-fitting heavy armor and scores a hit, dealing uh, seven uh, damage to him. And then he's going to use his bonus action to hide. Okay. I assume there's a tree to hide behind. Some bushes over this... here. Yep. So Abby goes and uh, finds a uh, finds a tree to hide behind or a bush. As the uh, thugs pull out their uh, crossbows and begin uh, firing them, first shot uh, comes for Brina. Do my bushes give me any cover? Uh, it misses anyway. And uh, it is Gonk's turn. Gonk there standing there holding a, a small bush in front of him like, <laughs> I think they see me. And he throws it down and then he, uh, well, he's going to move at best speed towards the nearest thug. Can he reach any? Uh, so yeah, so we said they were uh, about uh, 40 feet out, so um, you can get within 10 feet, and given that you can attack within 10 feet, yes. So I move up there and Gaunt pulls out his handy battle axe and he swings it, uh, thug whatever, he ain't gonna... Woo! And crit. Skonk takes a uh, big. Oh. <laughs> Gonk's even eating cheesecake at this time, too. Gonk. Gonk. <laughs> so here's what Gonk did is, uh, yeah, I sorry, I forgot to. Uh, Arabella was was there treating this this injured dude down on the ground, and Gonk just comes in and just <laughs> and just buries an axe in the in the in the wounded guy and just kills him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Uh, it reminds me of that. It, re it reminds me of that scene in Saving Private Ryan when you know when they're on Omaha Beach or or, or whatever, and and the and the medics like you know that the guy's a little shot up and he and he's trying to like you know stop the bleeding, stop the bleeding, and then the guy gets yeah. shot right in the head as he's as he's trying to uh, save him. Insult to injury. 
Uh, Melrick. Out and, and, and shakes his axe in the air now. Oh, no. All right. Melrick is going to cast Guiding Bolt at the Wizard. Okay. I think I've got him selected. Yep, you yeah. do. Or targeted. As you uh, fire a, a guiding bolt, it hits. Cool dice. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to move my 50 feet because he's got twice the movement speed and mm -hmm. and try to get within melee range of the wizard. Okay. And so one that, go ahead oh no go ahead. no it just are, are you are you done with your turn i, I was just going to jump to the next turn oh yep yep okay. uh all right so uh one of the thug comes in comes in to try to uh protect the uh w the wizard and his band swinging his uh mace at you first swing misses as he swings again uh scores a hit with the second swing Dealing uh, six bludgeoning damage to you, and it is Brina's turn. Um. Okay. Well, Brina didn't want to do this, but seeing that Melrick is being beaten up, she's not too happy about that. So, um, she is. So Melrick is attacking the wizard, and then now the thug has attacked Melrick. Um. Yep. So the Brina... wizard and. The wizard and thug are both attacking Melrick, is that correct? Uh, the wizard hasn't gone yet. Correct. Okay. Yeah. But are they close to Melrick? Is that correct? They are, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, mm, okay. I can only hit one person with this, but, um, okay. I'm going to cast Moonbeam on the thug. Okay. Which I know is kind of overkill, but... Sorry, which which thug was it? It just says thug. Oh, well, right. Moonbeam is the one previous, like above you. Yeah, let me above number me. them. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Thug, thug two. two. I mean, I can move Moonbeam, so. And... Yeah, but doesn't he? Isn't it at the start of their turn that if they're uh... inside the Moonbeam? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Uh. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so just wait. Start their turn. Okay. Yep, so you so you bring the moonbeam down on top of him. Okay. Boom. And then I jump back into the bush. Okay, as it is uh, Cassia's turn. Cassia being the rogue that she is, she learned a couple of little steps off of Breen. <laughs> Check this out, she says. And starts waving her hands in a forwardly motion and then starts casting are speaking in arcana check out Ooh. this spell okay and she hurls ice knife at the wizard nice and, and I, if that's uh, attack you, you, you did advance because of the guiding bolt correct mm. yeah oh yeah yeah it is attack so i roll another one hmm? Boom! Chuckalaka. And then, uh, this is my first time getting into wizard, so one sec. I have those ice knife work. <laughs> uh, so you so you roll for the to roll the damage on the wizard, the the one d ten. Yeah. It'll, but I have well, like two d ten. Yeah. So so just so just roll that damage first. <clears throat> one d ten. As the uh, ice knife pierces the young wizard and uh, takes him Ooh. out. And then it splatters, right? Yeah, as then the ice knife... Uh, that's, that's why I have two damages. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah, it explodes and... Uh, it's stuck too, right? Well, and potentially Milric, yeah. Whoops. That's fine. You need to get rid of the wizard. Let me just target him. And 
Melric, you said? Hmm? Okay. Melric and Thug, too. So yeah, so Melric and the Thug yeah. try to get out of the way of the... Uh... Oh, well, they have to roll deck saves first. Oh, okay. So take that off. Or just roll deck saves and then yeah. take off. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So here, we roll deck saves, and uh, they both fail, they so, both they both, yeah, so, yeah. so they both end up uh, taking that damage. Sorry, Belric, says Cassia. Didn't mean to catch you with that. And then passes it. As long as the wizard's down. <laughs> Arabella, after having Gonk come in and bury his battle axe in the uh, person she was kidnapped to uh, treat, uh, starts screaming and tries to make a run for it as uh, the bandit then uh, is not too happy about Gonk uh, killing his uh, friend and so he's going to uh, attack him uh, as wielding a scimitar and a dagger as he takes two swings with his scimitar stab with his dagger he's tough uh, misses with all three and a thug comes in to uh, support him swinging his mace at Gonk he strikes with again hits again he ends up dealing uh, 12 damage to uh, Gonk and we are back to Abby's turn <laughs> now, now he'll just do uh, the same thing. He'll pop out, throw a dart. Okay. And then hide again. <laughs> Maybe not on purpose, anyway. Does he have pack tactics? No, it's not a wolf. <laughs> yeah, but I thought goblin or no, kobolds got that. That's right. Yeah, it's kobolds. Uh... Yeah, so Avi, uh, again, in his ill-fitting armor, chucks a... Uh, chucks a dart, but he uh, misses with it. As a uh, right, goblin, as another thug uh, drops his crossbow, and, uh, gets in on the fight, attacking. So, I, can but, can Abi actually move move in a little bit closer and then hide? Yeah, he can. Can he hide like within thirty feet? Yeah, let's do that. A small creature, can he hide behind one of us? No, that's just that's just the halfling that does that. Uh, okay. The light foot halfling. All right, so he uh, swings his uh, mace at Melric. Missing with the first swing and swinging again. Striking hard. Ooh. Dealing uh, 13 bludgeoning damage to uh, Melric, and it is Gonk's turn. Gonk rules! <laughs> All right, uh, what's Gonk your... Gonk ain't watching the puppet show. <laughs> Which ones are near Gonk? Uh, the last two, Bandit and Thug 3. Yeah, both of them uh, attacked you. The other two attacked Melric. Uh, Gonk misses. Too long. Gonk drools. <laughs> His axe is at like five foot. Melric. All right. Um, so Thug One and Thug Two are within. Mm -hmm. All right. He's going to attack Thug One. Or there's Thug Two that hit the ice damage. Uh, yes. It is also Thug 2 that has the uh, Moonbeam on him. Mm. Oh, alright. Thanks. I'll target Thug. And he's going to K 
cast um, healing word um, cell. Oh, let's see, is that a bonus? Yep, it's a bonus. Yeah. Um, yep. Um, how do I cast it at a higher level? Yeah. So what you so what or do you want to do it at second or third? Uh, third level. Yeah. So what you do is you is you take the heal button and you you know you you click and 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 hold so that so that the d4 uh, shows up and then you right click twice and it adds two more d4 and then you drop it on yourself. That's with anything. Whenever you grab a dice, you can right click and it adds another dice. Yep, cool. just like that. Ah, got it. Cool, thanks. You, uh, as long as you your... hold it. Yep. 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 So you uh, heal yourself for uh, 12 hit points, and Thug 2 starts his turn in the uh, Moonbeam Seed, so I think it still does half damage, right? Correct. Um... Yep, so just, so just roll the damage. It'll take care of it. As he still ends up taking uh, seven uh, radiant damage from the moonbeam. What is the the self effect for moonbeam? That's the concentration effect. I, I actually just ap applied it. That's the track concentration. Okay, thanks. Yeah, uh, he taking this damage from the moonbeam d decides to uh, step out of it, and he uh, swings at uh, Melrick. Striking again with his uh, ace and swinging one more time. Misses with the uh, second swing and it is Brina's turn again. Um, Brina is going to move it back onto him. Which is an action. Okay. And I think that's... Pretty much all I can do. Yeah. Okay, so you just put the put it put the moonbeam back onto him as you you won't let him get out of it, and it is Cassia's turn. All right, Cassia is going to uh, how far out from uh, or am I from Gonk? Uh, given that I don't think you said you've moved in like forty feet. Well, I hit that wizard with that for 30 beam. feet. I didn't, yeah, I didn't do any. So I'm going to move up to Gonk. If I okay. need to, then I'll use bonus action, cunning action, if I have okay. to. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to move up and strike a bandit that is hitting Gonk. Okay. Uh, use my interaction to pull out my rapier this round. Okay. Well, I'm running up and take a jab. And I guess I was moving too fast. So, uh, I am going to use my mobility and move back 15 foot. Since Gonk has a 10 foot swing, I don't want him hitting me. So <laughs> move back a little bit <laughs> and call him my turn. Okay, uh, I mean, so so yeah, there there is a, another, yeah. Okay, we'll just. Oh, that, that is right. There is one. There is there. another. There is yeah. another thug there, but yeah. yeah no, but but when I no, no, you, you can take a swing. No, 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 it's fine. Just just when I but just thinking, visualizing the grid, it probably would be possible for you to approach just the bandit and not the other guy. So we'll so so they won't get an opportunity attack. Or if you want to, that's fine. All right. So the uh, bandit then uh, continues slashing at uh, Gonk with his scimitar. Scoring uh, finally a hit as he as he cuts uh, Gonk's arm, dealing eight slashing damage to him. And as he does this, stabs with his dagger, which uh, Gonk sidesteps. And the the thug comes in trying to bash Gonk over the head with his mace. Twice. Would it really make a difference though if he did? We'll see. <laughs> Scoring one hit, dealing five mm -hmm. uh, bludgeoning damage to him. And he missed. He messed up his puppy fingers. <laughs> and it is Obby's turn. So this time Obby is gonna uh, run out and engage in melee. Okay. 
jumping out from the bushes. Surprise! But you didn't see that coming. <laughs> and I guess this guy's the closest, the guy that's closest to the tracker. Yeah, okay. we didn't see it, but we definitely heard it. <laughs> the clanking of his armor. He, uh, rattle, rattle, rattle. Yeah, you know, swings his hand axe, hits the hits the thug, dealing uh, six slashing damage to him. And that's it. Well, a Avi can attempt his unarmed strike too. Mm. No, he could not. He is wearing armor. Oh, he has to. He has to. Okay, you have to not be wearing armor for that. Okay. Yeah, the weight of the 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 chain chainmail is too much for him to get any sort of action other than just swinging the axe. With all okay. his... uh, thug one, then uh, not like that. This little bastard came in and whacked him with a uh, hand axe and turns his attention that way. Oh, so I do actually I do get a bonus action though, so I'm gonna actually use a key point for patient defense. Take the dog dodge action. Okay. As uh Abby gets quick on his feet trying to uh, avoid an attack, he uh so the thug swings his mace once and twice, and uh Abby's quick movement uh allows him to dodge one of them, but the second one strikes. Dealing four bludgeoning damage to uh, Abby, and it is Gonk's turn. Gonk rules. <laughs> so the can you remind me what the dodge action does? Uh, attacks against you have oh. disadvantage until your next turn. So was he rolling with disadvantage? He was, yeah. Okay. Oh wait. Didn't say drop sorry, anything. He, he wasn't. Yeah, sorry. Gonk's going to do a pushing attack. Ooh. Roll one. Roll one. Roll okay, one. Get away yeah, he... from Gonk! Wow. I didn't expect that to be still standing after this. But let's see if he flies backward. Oh, he's a yeah, so Gonk hits him hard, trying to knock him back, uh, dealing 18 slashing damage to him. But uh, yeah, he does not go down. And I did re-roll re that last roll, and, and he still hit, so. Okay, thanks. Um, and it is Melrick's turn. All right. Melrick is going to get bug one for hitting Ob. Yeah, so again, Melrick takes a big swing with his warhammer and strikes the uh, thug. That the thug then starts. Thug two starts his turn in uh, in the moonbeam. Ha! As he uh, as the as it's wearing him down, he fails his Constitution saving throw, taking uh, full damage. This time, just uh, just five oh, radiant much. damage. As uh, again, he uh, steps out and um, swings his uh, mace at. Elric twice, but missing both times, and it is Brina's turn. Um, Brina does not want to run in there with her tiny little club that's like a, a stick, basically. Um, she's just gonna move the moonbeam again, I guess. When the moon hits the thug's eye like a big <laughs> a pizza pie, it's a battle. Yeah, it it hopefully blinds him. It's a very bright moon. We could use that on those double gangers a long <laughs> time ago. Yeah, I didn't think of that. But... And it is Cassia's turn. All right, Cassia, side swiping old Gaunt. Make sure that he didn't hit me while he was swinging away. Uh, he's going to move back in and attack Thug 3. 
this time with the rapier. So that's 15 foot of movement. Stick and move. Man, <laughs> she is horrible. So I try to stick and use mobility. I'm gonna move out of the way. Uh, and if Bandit wants to take a uh, offhand, it's fine. Or whatever. I think Cassie hasn't had enough uh, cider today. Yeah, well, yeah. Definitely. Every not time she does, she's been learning. She's been learning wizardry, so like her uh, her thief skills are just not. She she's too focused on learning spells right now. Yeah, so as practicing. she as she darts in and out, the the bandit slashes with a scimitar, uh, scores a hit on her, cuts her, dealing uh, seven slashing damage to her. Okay. He then uh, continues uh, attacking Gonk. Oof. Stay takes away a, from Gonk. Takes a big cut with his scimitar. Gonk takes a big uh, wound. Swings again. Uh, slashing Gonk again. Gonk is uh, not doing well. He then uh, goes Oof. to uh, try to kill Gonk, stabbing him with his uh, dagger. But he, but Gonk grabs it and, as he goes to lunge, plunge it into his chest and pushes it. You know, grab. He oh, catches his arm and no. sort of throws it, throws it to the side. As um. Bug uh, three chases after um, Cassia. All right. Attempting to run her down and s smash her with his uh, mace. This misses with uh, both uh, swings as she's able to. Uh, sidestep both of those uh, attacks and, and it is Abby's turn. Using that fancy footwork. Hey, I was going to attack with his hand axe again. Wow. I'm scared to be around Abby when he's swinging stuff. <laughs> you can't see what he's swinging at. I'll be, and uh, then he will use a key point to use flurry of blows. So now he's going to take some unarmed strikes. Do you okay. think Gonk would be even more scared? He's right at nut height to him. <laughs> <laughs> I think Gonk finally woke Aww. up. I'll be attempting to uh, make some unarmed strikes with his... Uh, Heavy armor on is uh, unable to make any successful ones. But I'll add the fury of the spall to that. Okay, for the, uh, the attack that did hit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the thug is pretty badly uh, wounded uh, at 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 this point as he swings feebly his mace at Abby once and. Uh, twice but striking with the uh, second hit striking uh abby for two bludgeoning damage and uh it is gonk's turn gonk rule um gonk yeah, bleeds well. <laughs> gonk is that. stuff Ooh, yeah nice Let's hit Oh, that was that was the uh, that was the wrong thug though. Well, that's not the thug. I'm, I'm I'm going for the other thug. Thug three. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna put a little we'll put some pushing attack on. Well, so at, so here actually at uh, this point that thug three ran after uh cassia so 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 the person you're engaged with is me in, in melee is the uh, bandit all right well i'll go after the bandit then okay so he would have had an op attack 
Right. He ran after me. Oh, yeah. Oops, I should get two more eights. Yep. Roll roll them. That was fast. Yeah, so you so when the when the thug chased after Cassia, you 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 could have taken a opportunity attack thug three. Well, I, I, I want to do yeah. Well, it's the same, no difference in points, but it, since I misunderstood which one it was, instead of the pushing, well, I guess I did because it only pushed backwards. Because if not, I was going to do a tripping attack on if I'm going to do it on that guy. Okay, if do it, a do a do yeah do the saving throw for that. As uh, he succeeds, well, yeah, I got my, I haven't got much choice. I'm actually, and I'm okay. going after. It. And yep, this time I will do a pushing attack. I'm so lost now. <laughs> That's okay. He's like pushing everybody around. And that pushes him back uh, 15 feet. Oh, I get safety. Wow. And it pushes him back 15 feet. Okay. And bonus action, I will second win. Gonk is mad. Hey, I learned that trick too. Uh, Melrick. All right, Melrick is kind of ticked that Abby's getting beaten up, so he's going to go after Thug One. Jeez, so many 20s tonight. As uh, Melrick caves in the uh, Thug's head with his uh, warhammer, the Thug uh, falls to the ground at Abby's feet. And... That's a gonk's backup, so well, that's okay. Thug two uh, swings his uh, mace at you twice. Oh, as you, oh wait, what? sorry, not with advantage. That's wrong. Oh yeah, go ahead. He uh, succeeds on his um, takes half, but uh, yeah, takes five uh, radiant damage. He again tries to get out of the moonbeam as it seems to keep following him, but he. Swings and he swings twice at Melrick, but uh, misses with both of them, and it is Brina's turn. Hmm. Um. Well, y'all aren't looking so good. So, um, Brina is going to instead of moving the moonbeam this time, she's going to let him get out of it. Um. She's going to cast Spirit Totem bear spirit so that okay. everybody gets uh uh gains temporary hit points equal to five plus your five plus my druid level so uh 10 hit points yep so target everyone and uh drop that on them okay uh wait you have your your druid level's four so it's nine yeah. i'm sorry yeah nine Let's see, Cassia Thorn. I think I got everybody. Uh, myself. Um, what about Arabella? Can I give her temp hit points too? Uh, I think she She's may have run. Me. Okay. Okay. Go oh, and then just click the temp hit point. Okay. Alrighty. That seems Thank very useful. Yeah. All right. As uh, Cassia. And then she backs into the bush. It's Cassia's turn. Yep. All right. Cassia interactions. Going to pull a dagger out from her belt. And go up and attack. Uh, Thug 3 was chasing me, right? So she pretends like she's fleeing, turns back. Looks at him and hits him with the rapier and a. Okay. And maybe just a rapier if he goes down. <laughs> okay, there's a rapier. Here comes the dagger. <laughs> oh, bloody monkey! Turd ball! 
All right. Uh, using cunning action and mobility, I'm going to move out of his range and not take an off attack and call my turn. Okay. The uh, bandit then, uh, after getting hit pretty hard on the last <laughs> All turn right. by a uh, gong. Changing colors. Yep. He uh, gathers himself, uh, charges at uh, Gonk, slashing with his uh, scimitar twice, hitting with the first one, slashing again. Whoa! What missing. Uh, My bad. Missing. Uh, missing with the uh, second, and then stabbing with his dagger, which he uh, scores a hit with. But uh, yeah, given all the extra healing Gonk got, he's uh, still in uh, still in good shape. Well, I mean, well, better shape than he was. Yeah. As uh, Thug three, then uh, loses uh, Cassia as she is uh, very fast, and uh, he goes. Uh, Goes and seeks a uh, another target and finds uh, Brina in the uh, bushes. Ow! Goes to try to hit her with a mace. Does first hit and swings again. Scores another hit, dealing uh, thirteen damage in total to Brina, but she is somewhat pro uh, protected uh. from her bear spirit. I'm very small. I feel like a mace would just smash me. It's a glancing it would blow. Would not be good. Okay. Um, and your, I don't know what happened to your concentration check from your mm. moonbeam. But Do you, you know? maintain. No, I just did. You uh, maintain it. I don't know if you canceled it because you, but you didn't have oh. to because your spot because your spirit totem is not a not a spell, so it doesn't. I I did not I didn't do anything to cancel it, but. Hmm. You mentioned it, but I think you were... Oh, yeah. for some reason it only says one round. That's why. Mm. Lasts for up to a minute. Okay. Did you know gnomes came from gems? <laughs> I did not. That's one okay. of the things. I do have advantage on saves right now, so... Yep. Uh, it is Obby's turn. Alright, who's going to move over attack another thug? Hmm. Another Aww. 20. <laughs> but it was uh, dropped. And how far away was this thug? thug far away from, from, from the last thug where I was attacking. They were you, I'm you, the Malric, feet. right? Yeah, you, you guys were all kind of in the same space. You, Melric, and the, and the two thugs who, who you were fighting. So uh, I'm going to bonus action disengage and step out okay uh, he swings his hand with a runs by does a a, a a run by swing with his hand axe uh, but misses the uh, thug and it's gonk's turn he ain't even looking he's just swinging that hit a party member hit a thug whatever he's gone misses Gonk yells, uh, Gonk, he's like a, a Pokemon and that he just says his own name. <laughs> and, uh, he misses, he misses with his battle axe and it is Melrick's turn. Alright, I go after Thug 2. It'd be funny if he just said Puppet Show every time he swung. <laughs> Puppet Show! That would be good. <laughs> That'd oh. be awesome. You got one! Yeah, as Melrick uh, smashes another thug and uh, kills him. He runs over, uh, so he's next to uh, the bandit. But not Smokey, just the bandit. Got it. Talk some people might be... <laughs> some people might be uh, too young for the Smokey and the bandit ref. No, I, I got it. <laughs> so... 
Oh, do I. <laughs> and uh, it is Brina's turn. Uh, Brina is going to move her moonbeam over to Thug 3 to try to incentivize him to leave me alone. Okay. That's all I got. Are you going to run away, too? I mean, I would have to disengage, right? And I can't... Well, or, so. or risk the opportunity attack. Uh, uh, nah, no, I'm going to stay. Okay. Back in the face of the ruler. <laughs> and it is Cassia's turn. All right, Cassia, seeing that thug... Could I have got an opportunity attack as he ran away? Or no, because you, no, you, 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 you moved yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, I moved away. Yeah. All right. Uh, seeing that Tug 3 ran after Brina, uh, I am going to go pew, 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 right to Oh, Cassia unleashes some uh, magic missiles. Three of them uh, striking the thug. Dealing uh, 14 damage. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to look this up. That is verbal and semantic, so I would have had to interaction put my, at least my dagger away on that round. Okay. I've only got my rapier in hand, and went pew pew pew, and uh, I'm gonna move to an advantageous position and call it. All right, the uh, bandit now getting uh, surrounded by multiple enemies swings wildly at all of them. Once at uh, Gonk, once at uh, Melric and again stabbing with his dagger at Melric but uh, all three attacks miss as the thug uh, turns around to Cassia um, oh no you shot a magic missile sorry you didn't go into to, to melee no so he uh, so he uh, keeps uh, trying to hit uh, Brina as she tries to go under his legs and duck and hide and ooh and he uh, scores a <sighs> scores a hit, smashing her hard. Oh, and and also he's gonna he's gonna sorry. Actually, at the start of the turn, he he needs to take his moonbeam damage, okay. right? Yes. Well, he needs to make a save. So yeah, but he's gonna take damage regardless. Correct. As the moonbeam finishes Whoa. off the thug, nice. and so that does not hey. happen. She looks up for her brain and gives her the thumbs up. Thanks. Abby. Okay, Abby's going to move in to engage with this bandit. Ah! Tries to take a piece off of his, uh, his uh, thigh, but uh, it's unable I to do so. Again, the, r running by trips on the chainmail, slides down on his face, but rolls and stands up. With it. Uh, does not uh, strike the bandit, and it's Gonk's turn. Gonk! Gonk. Gonk's the best gonk that's ever gonked, and Gonk's yeah. the oh. bandit. I'm doing the pushing attack. Okay. Is is gonk a verb now? Gonk is a noun, mm. a verb, an adjective. He is I now like added to the Google dictionary. <laughs> I like it. Pushes him away. 15 feet. All right. He pushes him back and uh, hits him pretty hard with uh, 14 slashing damage as he strikes him with the uh, battle axe and it is Breen's turn. Oh wait, uh, how about Melric? Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, we, we, we both hit the thing. There you go, Melric. Now, is he uh, is a bandit prone? No, not prone. Just pushed 15 feet away from uh, Gonk. Okay, so Melric will run up to him and do an attack. Okay. 
trying to attack. Hit him in the nuts. Works. Oh, nope. Nope. Uh, he's not used to moving twice as fast, so just kind of misses as he overshoots him. Um, and it's Brina's turn. All right. Um, how far away is Bandit? Whatever man number that was. The alive one. Not very far. Um... I am going to I'm gonna thorn whip him. Okay. Magical green whip nope. grows out of Brina's hand that she cracks at the bandit but uh, misses him with it. Mm, that's it. And it is Cassia's turn. Cassia having rapier only in hand. Is going to use cutting action and dash, and literally dash, keeping herself low to the ground, stealthy, and try to hit Bandit right where he's not. <sighs> These dice ain't any better. And Cassia has been unable to score a hit with her rapier in this fight, I think. Right, uh, as she flies by him and takes a strike, she'll move. Uh, since she has mobility, she has 40, so using cunning action and her full movement, it'll move as far as she can away from him. Just slice, trying to slice at him and running away. Okay. And call her turn. The bandit then, uh, Gage with Melrick slashes his uh, scimitar. Twice at him. Stabs with his dagger and ooh, gets a good hit with that. Sinks the uh, dagger deep into Melrick's uh, shoulder. Dealing eight piercing damage to him, but it's all absorbed by the uh, bear spirit. And is that all you got? It is Obby's turn. That's me. I'm Avi. Swear. Hit and a miss. Or swing and a miss. Yeah, Avi again making a run by. Yep, is unable to uh, strike the bandit as he steps over him and it's Gong's turn. Gong! I'm thinking at this point we should try to hire this bandit on our team. <laughs> Somebody try to bribe him. Oh, I, I only moved within 10 feet of him, by the way. I had to move 15, or 5 feet. Yep. As you uh, yeah, take a big long swing from 10 feet away with your battle axe, with your long uh, bugbear arms, but uh, are unable to score a hit, and it's Melrick's turn. All right, Melrick is going to cast Toll the Dead on this guy. As Melrick senses that he is uh, near the near the grave. Oh, you, oh, you have to drag it on him. Oh, sorry. But he uh, is not gonna. He's not gonna go down so easily, as the uh, dolorous bells uh, do not affect him. All right. And it is Brina's turn. Sorry, I was doing cat stuff. Um, he's still up. Um, I'm gonna try to thorn with him. Okay. Strike him with your thorn whip. You hit him for four piercing magical damage. Uh, he is pretty uh, badly hurt here. Cassia. Cassia. Why won't you just go down? She <laughs> says. And she's gonna run up to him and try to plunge her rapier uh, straight. Hmm. 
And glancing blow. Actually, I'll stand there. All right. As uh, Cassia tries to uh, stab him, he then uh, assesses his uh, situation, thinks about whether he can uh, make a run for it, but has seen the uh, speed of, of some of you. And he uh, takes a takes a chance and uh, drops his uh, weapons as a, as he's running out of breath. I surrender. You have wiped out my gang. Please. Cassie pulls up her rapier to his throat. Kneel. Did you know that was his name? I don't want to die again, even if the day resets. It's very painful. Cassia looks at him thoroughly. So you have been re, uh, uh, reliving every day over and over again, as we have. Maybe you can help us to stop this torment, she says. And pulls uh, her rapier up closer to his chest. And uh, it is Abby's turn. I mean, see things look like they're over. I mean, he was surrendering, but that that hasn't stopped Abby in the past. <laughs> yeah, that hasn't. Yeah, that's a good point. I'll do another drive by. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here holding this plate to his throat, and Abby just runs in and whacks him. Tries as to yeah, as a as as I Abby still can't make contact. <laughs> yeah, as a uh, Abby uh, just comes running in, attempts to bury a hand axe. You know, he has his hands free, so he sees him coming, and he he blocks it and pushes the hand axe to the side, so, so Abby can't strike him with it. All right, Cassia maneuvers her blade to try to uh, keep his hand axe pinned. Or, no, uh, whatever you're trying to use to block Obby's attack. Uh, pin that and still keep the blade to his neck and be like, talk, she says. What does what does Gonk do? Or what does anybody do? I'm just going to see what happens. Oh, what does uh, Gonk do? I'm going to try to intimidate <laughs> You better talk or go smash you. Yeah. I kind of, like, I retract my blade a little bit and look at Gonk and be like, it's either me or him, like, with that kind of stare. And Gonk just, like, stomps over. What? I, I, what do you want to know? Which, Gonk, this which, is you. Which way east? Which was he? <laughs> this is a good question. Is it this way or that way? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking go. <laughs> uh, 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 that, he's kind of caught off guard by the question. Uh, that, 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 that way. We're that... all caught off guard on that question. <laughs> that, that, that way is east. Um. I think what he meant to ask is, uh, why, why did you kidnap this, this woman? But also, you know, that, that was a good question, too. Yeah, answer questions then after that, tell Gonk, which best puppet show? Wasn't mine the best puppet show? Gonk like your puppet show best. Thank you. Cassia rises her blade. After he, he points to east direction. Talk, she said. We we were we, we were we were hiding out in these woods after pulling a few jobs. Nick was dying from a spear wound. Yes, that... yes we know that. We've already seen you before and you've seen us before, says Cassia. I want to know something else. Tell us what you're doing here and why you're unaffected. Are you just dumb? 
Oh, that is a good question. What? Well, right. I, what do you, I, I don't know, what, what are you talking about? Why, why are you unaffected? I, I don't know what the hell is going on here. Like I said, we were just out in these woods. The damn day keeps repeating. Every day I had to watch Nick die again and again and again. So we, uh, kidnapped that uh, herbalist to try to save him. Well, why do you kidnap the herbalist, says Cassia? I, I just, I, I, I just said that. Have you been dipping into the flask? Yeah, I think she has. But oh, so, why? To to he save Nick. Him. Yeah, so, but why the herbalist? Says Cassia. She, why not any other people? Why? She, uh, why not? Uh, she the seemed candy like person. Whatever. She seemed like she could heal people. Um. So, I, I can heal people. I mean. We're, we're sorry about Nick. I think that was an accident today. But if this happens again, maybe next time, if you don't attack us, we can help you rather than kill all of your friends. Because that didn't go very well. That's not what you wanted, right? Well, we've tried this twice now, and you've defeated us both times. Cassie's still implying why the herbalist? What made you go after the herbalist, she says. I, Did the herbalist have a little bit more information that we don't know? Or that you know? I, I don't I don't know, Lady Jeez. <laughs> I'm, I'm a pretty good healer. That's all I'm saying. Like, you could have just asked me. Do you know why the days are, are repeating? Well, so that's kind of complicated. That's um, what we came here to figure out, says Cassia. I look at Melrick. Uh, do you want to answer this one? Uh... I don't know if it if this guy's gonna be any help to us. Um, I I say we just uh, take all of, all his gear and uh, tie him up and just leave him. What? Tie him up and kill him. Uh, uh, I say we tie him up and let I'll be handle him. And uh, whatever happens, happens, says Cassia. And she slaps her hands together and walks. I was going to suggest we just let him go. Well, we should take all, you know, try to grab their weapon and their gear just in case the, the day doesn't. Yeah, that's fair. Cassie as she's briefly walking off. Well, if this is not, or if this ended up uh, to a dead end, let's go to the town and figure out what we can do, or figure out something else. And she starts walking towards the town. Okay. Hey, Oracle, grab weather. You know, treasure they have and their weapons, and bring them back to town and just kind of dump them. So you just want to leave him naked in the woods? Uh, he can have his common clothes. Right, but yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. I guess I'll just wait here till the day re re repeats. Maybe I will oh. look you up again and see if you can save Nick. Uncle wants his pants. Oh. Just for the puppet show. <laughs> the little pants on the little characters don't fit. Yeah, w whatever. Here, I'll get them back tomorrow. Yeah. So, which one's Nick? The one that was wounded that they kidnapped the herbalist for that was the first one that Gaunt came in and buried his axe in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And Melrick tells a bandit, by the way, 
tomorrow repeats and you've kidnapped uh, the herbalist again, we're not going to let you uh, just walk away. <laughs> we are, know where are you we live. The baddies? Do what? Are we the baddies? I don't yeah, know. Th yeah. This round, it seems like. I will come find me. I, I'll help you. I, I don't know about these guys, but I'll help you. Yeah, we can I help. Promise. Just, just uh, no more with the herbalist ever again. That's fair. She's not very good anyway. And I think she's a fake. Cassie is still curious why they just picked up the herbalist. I mean, who else? Like, maybe there's nobody better. Other than me, of course. All right. So we start walking towards town. Day, May. Yep. Yep. Okay. Having dealt with the bandits and their kidnapping of the uh, herbalist, you uh, head back to town to uh, figure out how you're going to spend the rest of the day and uh, to prepare. And we, bring, and we bring the herbalist to the cart and help her bring the cart back. And Okay, yeah, you, you go and retrieve her cart and pull it and bring it back into town and uh, figure out what you're going to do with the rest of the day and how you're going to handle the uh, event at the end of the night with uh, Erdlin. And from there, we will take a break.